people that are remote, typically what I'll do is like, you know, I look at my best A players and I talk about, hey, do you know anybody else that can come in and, you know, work with us? So typically your A player will know somebody that's also good. So I'll talk to them and bring them in. I tried Pfeiffer, I tried up Upwork. You don't know how many times I try to hire people and they just do not have the if factor. The if factor is somebody that is determined and focused and that's what's in everything in their power to make sure that they're successful, which makes you successful. Look at your A players and just talk, talk to them and see if they have somebody that can bring it to the house, that can bring value. That has been the by far the best way. Right now we do free coaching and you know, and that means that I need coaches. So I started this by myself last two months ago. Uh, we help people scale to like, you know, if, if you're doing two, three K a day, we help them get to 10 K, right? 10 K per day. So mm -hmm. I tell myself, now I need coaches. I'm like, all right, coaches. So I started like, you know, pulling out my, my, you know, wallet. Here you go. Here you go. Help me coach. So all my money just goes back into my business, bro. Um, at the moment, you know, I, you know, I, I do have a nice little car. That's about it. But right now, everything's going back into my business. I don't have any other. Uh, I do have some other business ventures. Like uh, I don't know if you have, have you, you know what what a ghost kitchen is. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know through Mr. Beast. Uh, yeah, so and have, yeah, have you have a, a ghost kitchen. I have a ghost kitchen launching next month. So wow, that is interesting. And some money go into that. Some little ventures like that, you know, nothing crazy, but still, e-com is my number one priority. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm good at it, but I, I don't think I've mastered it yet. So um, I I'm going to continue to put it back in, you know, for example, like if you look at Jeff Bezos, look how long he's been a CEO. Well, he was a CEO for like Amazon, right? For like, what, mm -hmm. 20 years? Yeah. He did, right? So, you know, I'm a believer of like being focused on one thing and, you know, little things that aside, but still, this is the main needle. This is the main, this is my North Star and I'm going to double down on it. I think that's so clever, bro. And And I mean... I'm kind of trying to follow the same path, to be honest. And like you, it's still it's so funny that you say I haven't mastered e-com in your opinion when, you know, you're doing like a million a month and you're managing like probably tens of millions a month in like other people's brands and stuff. But there's always someone at a higher level. Like it's just never it never ends. Right. There's always someone to learn from. Yeah. So for me, I think uh, I think it's always just it's a chase, bro. You know, so. Mm -hmm. You know, once I'm more in a comfortable, I don't think I'll ever be comfortable. But once I know, like, okay, this is where I, I, I feel like I made it, right? Mm -hmm. In a sense of like big numbers, I'm impressed by myself. I want to get to that point where I'm impressed by myself, of myself, and then then I'll probably start allocating money into different ventures where that requires my time. But I've noticed that I don't like investing into something where I can't put a little bit more time into it because it needs. Because whenever I put my time into something, bro, it just grows faster. And, 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 you know, blows up quicker. And when I put my into something where I can't, I don't have a lot of time, I've seen it not grow quick. So I'm like, okay, I need to be careful because it's about money and time mm -hmm. for me. And maybe soon enough later on, you know, I'll hire a CEO for my agency and then I'm, I'm chilling, right? I'm, I'm in different ventures, but for now, e-com. Wow. So you're, when it comes to your agency and then your e-com brands, you're basically the, you're at the head of everything. Yeah. So right now, currently, I am pretty much the head of everything. Uh, but we do have like team leaders that kind of help me out when it comes to like communication. I What I tend to do is just limit my lines of communication, right? Let's say, for example, you have 30 people in your team. I don't think you're going to talk to all those 30 people. You're going to go insane. Mm -hmm. So I'll have like two guys that talk to those people, right? Maybe one guy talks to 15, the other guy talks to the other 15, and they're just fitting me information of what's happening. Mm -hmm. And how do you find people you can trust like that? I mean, I... I so, feel like that's what people struggle with is, you know, finding those people without, let's say, a personal brand, because obviously having a personal brand does help. How do you do it? You know, that's a very interesting. So uh, I think I think one is usually the way I do it is like, um, number one, finding someone in, in your own hometown that is mm. driven as, as maybe has some skills, skill set into what you're doing. That's one way. And, you know, you're with them together. You can see them physically. I think that's important uh, for the people that are remote. Typically what I'll do is like, you know, I look at my best A players and I talk to them, hey, do you know anybody else that can come in and, you know, work with us? So typically your A player will know somebody that's also good. So I'll talk to them and bring them in. I tried Pfeiffer, I check up, up work, bro. You don't, you don't know how many times I try to hire people and they just do not have the if factor. The if factor is somebody that is determined and focused and that's willing to do everything, that, everything in their power to make sure that, you know, they're successful, which makes you successful. Um, so I find it difficult to do that. So I, instead, I just, so I went to my hometown, 
or two, look at your A players and just talk to, talk to them and see if they have somebody that can bring it into the house um, that can bring value. Mm. That that has been the by far the best way. Um, I know there's multiple different methods out there, but this is what's working for me. I've actually heard that before from other people that I know that I like look up to is yeah, ask the your your best employees, ask them if they have people that they know because chances are like you are kind of like who you surround yourself with. So chances are they're surrounding your, themselves with people that are very similar to them. Yeah, uh, so that's kind of how I do it. I mean, if you have, how do you, if you do it that way, let me know, bro, because uh, you know I'm also always looking for new people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel but, you. I mean, my team's pretty small, but that's how I've hired basically everybody.